Okay, I just upgraded my power supply from an ATX3 to an ATX 3.1 spec. Um, this is the Asus Rogue Strix 1200 watt platinum power supply. Absolutely top of the line. Super high quality, super high performance. It's got a 10 year warranty. It's a 3.1 spec. Cybernag gives it an A rating. It's 80 plus platinum certified. What does that mean? That means that at 20% load, you are going to have 90% energy um, conversion efficiency from AC to DC. So only 10% will be lost in, um, in uh, thermal output. At 100% load, you will have 89% um, conversion efficiency, okay? So at 50% load, 92%. So, so definitely go with your 1200 watt. If you're running a high-end uh, AMD or Intel uh, CPU in, in, a, in a high-end graphics card, um, you'll be pushing somewhere between 800 and 1000 watts, uh, for instance, while gaming. Okay, so then you're going to have about 80% load or you know, 70 to, eight, 70 to 80% load. And you're gonna be getting around 90% energy uh, conversion efficiency that's critical you're going to save money on your power bill so fantastic now uh, the 3.1 spec uh, PSU comes with the 16 pin PCIe connector uh, for instance that is what you use to hook up to your graphics card if you're running like an, uh, an NVIDIA RTX 4090 or 5090 or 4 series or 5 series graphics card um, that's absolutely phenomenal that is what they call a uh, 12 uh, by 2 um, connector so it's, it's 12 volts um, uh, 12 pins um, two two rows of pins and then you have a four pin connector at the top which is an amperage monitoring um, connector you can actually uh, the PSU has smart amperage monitoring across all 12 pins where it regulates the the amperage the current draw across every pin and ensures equal even current across every pin and you can actually see a readout of the amperage that's moving across those pins in the Asus GPU Tweak 3 application. So for every single pin, exactly how many amps are being pulled across every pin, it's fantastic. Uh, this has all the cables that you need. You know, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So with this power supply, I am able to push my RTX, my Asus RTX 5090 up to three gigahertz core clock totally stable and that is only possible because of this particular power supply okay so uh this power supply del delivers up to 600 watts of clean power to the gpu with reduced resistance and better thermal behavior okay than legacy power supplies uh, it has improved transient response it can handle up to 200 percent power spikes on the gpu okay without voltage drop it has lower ripple and noise, which keeps the voltage regulation model, modules stable under load. Uh, it reduces GPU clock jitter while improving boost residency. Okay, so that's why I'm able to get up to three gigahertz on my GPU, which is more than a 30% overclock on the core with total and absolute stability. Uh, it offers tighter load regulation, ensuring consistent voltage delivery across all rails, especially during rapid power draw shifts in gaming and benchmarking, not just on the GPU, but on the CPU as well. Super, super critical. So it has MOF sets, okay? It has gallium nitride MOF sets, okay? Um, which are used to switch and regulate power. So to rapidly switch and regulate power. So compared to your traditional silicon MOF sets, which you would find on ATX 3.0 um, power supplies, um, these particular MOF sets uh, offer higher uh, electron mobility, faster switching speeds, lower on resistance, uh, they're a smaller size and they have a lower um, heat output, right? So absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you you know, I mean, I just, there's not a better power supply on the market from my perspective. This is also, this also has a much lower, uh, smaller form factor. So a smaller footprint than a lot of your other 1200 watt power supplies on the market. All the cables are individually sheathed. Let me show you the graphics. So here you can see um, that, you know, the DRAM temperature, 
there's your CPU frequency at 5.5 gigahertz. Okay, it's 57 degrees. Here's GPU, 2.992 gigahertz. So basically three gigahertz, and it's only running at 38 degrees Celsius. This is under full load right now, full load. This is the RTX uh, 5090 uh, GPU by Asus, but fundamentally, it's that cable right there, and this ATX 3.1 that's allowing me to achieve those unbelievable uh, boost clock speeds. So if you're thinking about picking up a power supply, hands down, uh, this is gonna this is gonna be the best power supply.